In this demonstration, I'll show you how to find an angle in radians or in degrees for any given reciprocal trigonometric function. Question 1 reads, express theta in radians such that cosecant theta is equal to 3.94 and it's between 0 and 2 pi. Let's start off by defining cosecant. Cosecant is defined as 1 over sine theta or sine theta is equal to 1 over cosecant. Now since our calculator doesn't carry any information about trig the reciprocal versions of trigonometric functions, what we have to do is convert this so that we, we use sine exclusively. And the way we do that is actually quite simple. Sine theta is equal to 1 over this value, 3.940. And therefore, sine theta is equal to, let's use our calculator, 1 divided by 3.94 is equal to 0 0.253, and that last number was 8. The next thing you have to do is find out the angle that represents this number. And we're going to use inverse sine. Inverse sine of 0 0.2538 is equal to inverse sine of that number is 14.7. The next thing we'll do is look at the cast rule. And the cast rule is quite simple. It tells us where the trigonometric functions will be positive. Cosine is positive here. All are positive here. Only sine is positive here. And only tangent is positive here. So sine will be positive here and here. Now, since our calculator always gives us angles that represent the first quadrant, we just found out our first angle. Now, yes, this is in degrees, and you can easily convert this later on. So, that said, we can also find out what this angle is by subtracting from 180 degrees. So, 180 degrees minus 14.7 is equal to our second angle. 180 minus 14.7 is 165.3 degrees. So, there you have it. That is how to find the two angles between 0 and, well, in our case, 360 degrees for this reciprocal trigonometric function. Let's move on to question number two. It gets a little bit more challenging. Question number two reads, find all values of theta to one decimal place between the intervals of negative 360 to 360 for which secant is equal to negative 5.312. Now, this is in degrees, so make sure your calculator is in degrees. And we'll start off by defining what secant is. Secant is 1 over cosine theta, or cosine theta is equal to 1 over secant. And like I said earlier, you tend to use the main trigonometric functions as opposed to the reciprocal ones because our calculator doesn't carry those values. So let's find out what the cosine version it's really easy to do, 1 over this number, this ratio. And we end up with 1 divided by negative 5.312 is equal to negative 0 0.188, and that last number is 2. Cosine, I'll just write this out clearly here for you, negative 0 0.1882. Now, since our ratio is negative, it is important that you take the absolute moving forward. I'm going to tell you why in a second. So let's find out the absolute of this, and it's simply the number without the negative. And we will find the angle that represents that using inverse cosine. Inverse cosine of 0 0.1882 is 79. 0.15 degrees. Now, according to our initial ratio, cosine is positive here and here, and it will be negative, because this is negative, here and here. So it is these two angles 
that will represent our question. How do we find this larger angle? Now, since we know that it's in the second quadrant, to find this angle, we will subtract this number from 180. And to find out this greater angle, we will add that number to 180. And we get 180 minus 79.15 is 100.85 degrees. And 100 plus 79.15 is 259.15. So we just found out two positive angles between 0 and 360. But remember, the question asks us for the negative, from, between, from negative 360 to 360. So to find out two more angles, it's actually quite simple. You will subtract the two angles that you found, these two, from 360. And that will ensure two brand new angles. And this one would be 259.15 negative. And this one would be 100.85 negative. This, 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 and this are all the values of theta that make this true between these intervals. Let's move on to question number three. Question number three, which is the most challenging one here, asks us to find all values of theta in the interval negative 360 to 360 for which cotangent theta is equal to negative 2.465 and cosecant is greater than zero. Let's start off by defining cotangent, one over tangent, or tangent theta is equal to one over cotangent theta. So let's use the tangent version as opposed to the cotangent version. And that's simple. 1 divided by negative 2.465 is equal to tangent theta negative 0 0.4056. Let's find out what the angle for this ratio is equal to. The angle for that ratio is equal to negative 0 0.4056, and we get 0.4056, and we get negative 22.05. Keep in mind that tangent is negative here and here. And remember, it's positive here and here. So the angles that we need to focus on are this one and this one. Since the ratio for tangent was negative, you want to take the absolute, and if you had taken the absolute, that would have been positive. So make sure you use the positive version of that. And the reason why we do that, the reason why we take the absolute as opposed to that, is because these reference angles, these acute reference angles for the quadrants 2, 3, and 4, are already preset. For example, we know that when it's in the second quadrant, you're going, to you're going to subtract from 180 or pi. And when you're here, you're going to add pi or 180 and so on. Now that throws everything in limbo if it's negative. And that's the reason why we do that. So we're going to find out what this angle is by taking 180 minus 22.07. And if you remember, the question said that another restriction is that cosecant has to be greater than zero. Now, cosecant is defined as one over 
sine. And sine is positive here and here. Now, since the question, since in our example, the angle is here and here, this is the only one you're going to focus on, and this one becomes useless to us. We're going to avoid this one and only this one. 180 minus 22.07 is 157.8. So that's one of the angles that we're looking for. Just to increase some space here. And also, it goes between negative 360 and 360. So the next time it will occur is if we subtracted this from 360. And we would have gotten our second angle at 157.93 minus 360, which is negative 20. 2.07 degrees. This and this are the answers that fit this criteria. So there you have it. That is how to find any angle in radians and degrees for any given reciprocal trigonometric function. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.